Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor, Sony Alpha Ambassador, and in this series of short video tutorials, we're going to deep dive into Sony's new menus that we see on cameras such as the A7 IV and the Alpha One. So without much further ado, let's get started. Perhaps some of the most critical settings to get right on these Sony Alpha cameras is the AF-MF focus settings. So let's deep dive into these menus. You'll find this on the AF-MF tab, page one. We'll go over to focus mode first. Now that is not set to continuous AF out of the box, but this is by far and away the most useful focus mode to use. So you can access the uh, focus modes also by pressing the C3 key by default. And then you can switch from automatic AF to continuous AF. I don't recommend using the default automatic AF at all. I would much prefer to either manually switch from single shot AF, that's where the camera locks onto a subject, you might hear a beep, and then uh, that is a fixed focus distance. But I think perhaps much more useful is the continuous AF, where after acquiring the subject, you can move or the subject can move, and the camera will carry on following that distance to the subject. You can, of course, uh, acquire this uh, from also from the FN menu by default, but uh, given that we do have the C3 key to access that, I would typically overwrite that and put something more useful in the FN menu. Check out my FN menu settings if you want to look at what I recommend. Okay, so let's uh, drop down a line item in the AFMF menu to priority set in AFS. Now, both of these uh, two line items, the one below, are set to balanced emphasis. I think um, a resetting priority set in AFS to AF, that ensures that the camera doesn't take the image until it's absolutely sure that it's acquired the focus. So you might find a very momentary delay when you press the shutter release fully before the camera takes the picture. But given that the image is static, I think that is an appropriate setting to switch from balanced emphasis to AF. The next setting is priority set in AFC, again set in balanced emphasis. Now I uh, would switch this to release, I definitely want to capture the decisive moment when capturing uh, moving subjects. For instance, action sports would require the use of release. This also ensures that you get the maximum frames per second from your drive mode setting. Many uh, reviewers find that they don't get the uh, number of frames per second that Sony quote, but if you set this to release, then you do. Okay, so going down to AF tracking sensitivity, again, um, Sony are hedging their bets and picking something in the middle called standard. Now, I actually prefer my uh, focus to be as sticky as possible, never to let go of the subject until it's disappeared from the frame or behind an obstacle for more than two or three frames. So the, the stickiest setting you can actually choose is locked on. Five sounds good responsive, but the camera will give up early and then just acquire a different subject if uh, your subject that you're tracking momentarily disappears behind a foreground obstacle. We have uh, AF Illuminator that is set to auto by default, but if you find yourself in a group of photographers in the low twilight light, and everybody is doing long exposures, you certainly don't want to be shining a little red light into the scene in front of you. So uh, just be aware of this sitting uh, for, for nighttime photographers, that AF illuminator can be a problematic um, setting. So you might want to switch that to off. Okay, aperture drive in AF, again, Sony's hedging its bets, it's set to standard. If um, sport action um, priority is your is your main focus, then focus priority will give you the maximum focus speed from the lenses you're using. Now there is of course um, going to be a little bit of uh, extra noise from the focus motors if we set um, that setting to uh, as we've just seen on the previous screen. If um, you don't want the um, uh, the focus motors to be uh, problematic when you're photographing something in uh, maybe an indoor environment where the camera needs to be silent, then you can set the aperture drive in AF to silent priority. 
if you make that setting you will get the warning uh, screen that the focusing speed may decrease. Now this is a setting that you don't necessarily have to remember to do in silent shooting because if we go over to the shooting menu and that's page 7 silent mode settings we do have an option when switching silent mode on to go to the target function settings and when we do go into silent shooting mode that's where we're using the electronic shutter we can set the aperture drive in AF to silent priority so we don't have to remember to switch it in the AF MF menu as soon as we go into silent shooting mode it will go into silent priority Okay, um, next one down is the AF with shutter. If you are wanting to do back button AF by pressing the AF on button and uh, um, not have the shutter release do any uh, uh, part of that uh, focusing workflow, then you would turn AF with shutter to off. Now, if you look at one of my um, back button autofocus video tutorials, you'll know that I actually don't think you get any extra focus performance by being a back button autofocus focus user. In fact you lose a, a little bit of functionality. For instance if you're pressing the AF on button while pressing the shutter release you can't use the um, the multi selector or joystick to move the uh, uh, focus point and you also can't use the touch tracking when your uh, eye is at the finder and you're using the monitor as a touch pad. So you will lose a little bit of functionality by being a back button auto focus user. Uh, one down it's almost off the menu we have to scroll down and that's pre AF. Now that should be off by default unless perhaps you're the camera is on a tripod it's on self timer mode and you want the camera to focus before taking the shot in that instance you might want to do pre AF2 on but that will interfere with um, general focusing routines especially for sports action shooting so you definitely want to disable that when you don't need the pre AF Movie settings. If we turn the um, the, the sub dial on, below the shoot mode dial on the A74 to the um, the movie recording icon, there we will see a slightly different um, uh, set of menu options in this AF MF. Um, uh, area. So let's take a quick look. Now for um, uh, focusing when we're shooting movies I would um, uh, typically set the focus area to wide AFC and then enable the touch operation that's usually assigned to the C4 key by default. With touch operation on we can cycle between touch focus that's where we can touch and the camera will um, move focus to that distance and it won't move again until we touch the screen. So we can pull focus between different distances using touch focus. If we cycle through the next one we have something called touch tracking. That's if we see something on the screen that we want to follow uh, we can then touch that subject and then the subject or we can move and the camera will faithfully follow that particular subject. And then of course the, the third touch operation is to cancel the touch focus. Okay, so um, the, if you want to do the manual settings for that, you'd have to come out of the AFMF menu, go to the yellow setup menu, uh, page 5. Uh, what controls the difference between um, touch focus and uh, uh, touch tracking is in that touch function in shooting menu. It's a little bit displaced from the rest of the AFMF uh, menus there. Okay, so let's um, come down to AF transition speed. Now, obviously, if we are touching to pull focus between between two different distances for still shoots as we want that to be as rapid as possible but for movie shooting we often want to slow that down so people don't fall out of their seats as we pull focus so rapidly so it tends to be much more of a gradual transition between distances so AF transition speed is usually set low AF subject shift sensitivity again it's set to 3 but we can of course come in and set that to 1 if we want the um, the stickiest uh, uh, touch tracking. We also have this um, new feature on the A74 called AF assist that's when we're in auto focus but we want to just come in and turn the focus ring on the lens to pull focus manually and AF assist on will allow us to do that. 
AF Assist is only supported by a select range of Sony lenses and I'm listing them here primarily the GM and G lenses but there are a few others uh, that you can see on the bottom row of this list. If you found this information useful head over to patreon.com forward slash Mark Gaylor. I'm offering an Alpha Creative Skills support channel where you can download a 500 page camera specific ebook and I've covered most of the late model Alpha cameras. You'll also be able to download a cam set file if you own one of the later model Alphas. You'll be able to set up your entire camera with just a single file copied to a memory card. I also offer additional uh, ebooks for people to download to help them master the uh, skills of creative photography and also a range of uh, one hour seminars that look at the uh, using the, uh, the camera gear to the best effect and also to build up your skills of photography in general. So head over to patreon.com forward slash Mark Gaylor.